What's up guys, Genius Pie Trap, and this is another Steam tutorial, and this one is about Steam emoticon art. Things like this on my profile, I made Genius Pie Trap out of emoticons. If Stuff like this mushroom here, words like this, it's all made out of your Steam emoticons. And how to do it, we're going to do it three methods. We're going to go to two different websites to kind of do a quick and easy way of some simple emoticon art. And then we're going to, by hand, make something a little bit more complicated, kind of like Canadian Muffins uh, Mushroom here. Now, real quick, shout out to the guys at the Genius Pie Trap message boards here. That I'll leave a link in the description on my Steam group. And they kind of helped me encouraged me to make a video and we were kind of playing around with different things right here and had a lot of time fun doing it but like this mushroom for example this is how it looks it's just a big wall of text that we we place and it looks a little bit more complicated than what it really is so method number one something really simple like right here they wrote the word hi if we go to this website www.steamgist.com slash tools slash emoticon generator. I'll leave a link in the description. Very simple. We're gonna write a couple different things here. First we want to do the text that we want to write. Now it can't be too long otherwise it just won't work but let's uh, for example just write GPT for Genius Pie Trap and you want to select a background emoticon and to select emoticon you obviously want to select one that you own. So if you go to your inventory and you go to show advanced filters and select emoticons and it'll show all our emoticons and if you just click on the one that you want to use oh I don't know let's say we want the background to be this bomb here and BB bomb we can just right here click control C go back here there we go. And then the text emoticon, we will make it, well, let's make it these diamonds here. We'll copy that. Control V and generate. So we have the text right here. We just simply want to highlight it all. Make sure we get it. And Control C for copy. And then we want to paste it. Um, whoops. We want to paste it wherever we want it. Here we'll post it in the this thread here. And post text. And there it is. We have our bombs, our G, our P, our T. Again, that's how you use Steam Text Emoticon. Basically the simplest way you can make text. It's really easy. Light, very fast. You can do it really quick. Next one is Image to Steam Emoticon. Now this one you actually select a picture and it attempts to make a, make a picture out of it out of your emoticons and when I say attempts I'll, I'll show you what I mean so if we click here choose file again I'll link, leave the link in the description choose file and I'm gonna pick my little pie trap here and then you want to write your steam community ID what's your steam community ID you can find it by going to your profile And right here, Steam Community ID, chicks dig it. So you want to put your Steam Community ID, whatever that may be. Chicks dig it. And then we'll hit convert. And here, here's our wall of text. And here's what the picture will look like. Now, as you can see, it does an okay job. Now, what you can kind of do is find spots that this is kind of makes a good base actually and you can maybe find spots that you want to tr you know change to different emoticons to make it look better it does an okay job i just thought i'd show you guys this quick method play with it i haven't really had that great of a results on it i've been kind of able to doctor stuff up going here and uh you know change the emoticons and change stuff around next we're going to make one from scratch something a little bit more complicated and for this, we want to go to www.google.com. Now, I'm going to show you guys using the Google. You can also use Microsoft Excel, but I'm going to show you the Google way just because everybody has Google and it's free. So yeah, google.com, you want to click in these little 
squares right here and you want to click more and you want to click even more from Google then you want to scroll down to home and office and you want to find sheets and then you want to click on this plus arrow right here and this will show you a spreadsheet much like Microsoft Excel and again this also works with Microsoft Excel I'm going to show you this way because everyone has this since it's free what you want to do is click in the upper left hand corner so all of these squares um, change a different shape okay or all highlight and then you want to drag this to make a square let's do a little bit more here and you want to get it as good as you can doesn't have to be exact it's a bit more there now we want to start with a base color here or a base yes a base color so let's go make our base now again you don't want to go too wide I go uh, let, let's try we're gonna go with the n through 17 let's see what that is and then we want to click here in this paint bucket and click our base color and we'll go for blue and from here now this is gonna be our workspace from here you want to start making your picture and basically what I'm gonna do is just start highlighting squares and changing the color on them now I'm gonna fast forward through a bunch of this here to try to make a share. I'm gonna make something for you. I won't tell you guys what it is. Maybe I'll see how long it takes you guys to guess it. As soon as you know it, shout it out. But I'm just kind of going as it. Now, guys, I apologize ahead of time because I am no artist whatsoever. I'm gonna try making something the best that I can without looking too laughable. Okay. And we'll finish up with the cap. And there it is. It's a me. It's Mario. Actually, it turned out way better than I expected. In fact, let's. Uh, what are we missing here? Actually, some buttons. We'll put some buttons on them. There. That is a pretty damn good Mario. Now, here's the. Here's what we want to do next. We got the art done. This is what it's going to basically look like. We have a design. Now again, you guys can make your own design. If you Google pixel art, you can find some pixel art that maybe you can kind of copy and or try making your own. So what we want to do is find an emoticon for each one of these colors. So let's go back to our emoticons and let's just see what catches our eye here. Here we got GC blue between the two colons. That's what we want to type is colon GC blue colon. Let's go back and we'll just click on the first square there and that's what we want to type in colon GC blue colon. Now that's not if you don't have that emoticon that's not going to work for you. You need to find your emoticons that you that you already own. So again, we're going to have that square selected and we're going to hit control C for copy. And then we simply just want to hit the next square control V and like, so we can highlight a bunch here, control V and all the blue squares we want to put in that text. Okay, so there we got the blue done. Now we want to find another color here. Here's uh, this one actually worked good for for the gray. Colon G, GC brick colon. Let's go back to our spreadsheet here and just pick one of the there. Colon GC brick colon like that. 
And same thing, control C. Like there, we got, I think we got all the gray in there. Let's find, we need red, his skin, and some yellow buttons. Let's use colon, deal with it, colon for his pants. We use solar sun for our skin. Looks like it might be a good one. And last but not least, we want to find something for the buttons. And I spotted a kind of a Mario type coin, which would fit perfect. Now, if I can just find it again. Ah, right here. Coin DLC. And there we have it. Now, if you wanted to check, I think I got everyone, but if you wanted to check, you just basically want to make sure after clicking every square, it has something, you know, written up here in the the uh, text box because if it doesn't see so you can see there's nothing in that one but we don't want anything in there but I think I have everything so what's next basically we want to grab the whole thing we'll start in the bottom corner and drag up and select the whole picture and we want to hit control C for copy and we'll paste it back into the steam community discussion and here we got back in our Steam community discussion where we paint, posted that other one. And we'll hit Control V to paste all that. Now that's going to look like a big wall of text. And everyone cross your fingers to see if it worked. Post comment. And there we have our Mario. He turned out all right. I, I don't know if I'm very happy with the solar sun, I guess. I don't really like that. We could go and maybe change that. Let's change it to this right here. Colon, sad, colon. There, we all changed them. Let's try that again. See if that makes, maybe it looks a little bit better. I think that looks better. That's a, it's a pretty decent Mario, I think. He does mustache, his eyes. Not, not too bad, not too shabby. I like it. You guys got any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the discussion down below. Make sure to like, subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Genius Pie Trap, over and out. Later. Bye. Victory. The outcome was never really in doubt. Eat my dust. Let's have a go at it. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. Idiot.